to the class of 2020, congratulations and caution. Congratulations for graduating, for making it this far. Congratulations for your achievement. You have done what most Americans have not, and even more so around the world, and that's to be applauded. Kudos to you. But caution, because the future is uncertain. We're in a liminal time. You're exiting one world and entering another. And as we exit one world, we take a bit of that world with us forever. And as we enter the new world, it's a world of uncertainty. The world is always uncertain, but perhaps a little bit more now than usual. And so my advice to you, the class of 2020, on this auspicious occasion is to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself means taking care of yourself in the best way, being a solopreneur, if you will. I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm a sociologist, but I still think about investing. So investing in yourself means thinking about the skills that you care about, maybe your subject matter, maybe like me, sociology or the social sciences, Maybe it's psychology or engineering, environmental studies or art history, biology, chemistry, or any other field. Maybe learning more about your particular field or learning skills that will help you in your field like communications, or marketing, but invest in yourself. And that means taking care of yourself. That means eating as much plant-based as possible drinking water and ditching the stuff that you know isn't good for us. The fast food, the junk food, the garbage food, the meat, the sugar, the excess fat. Invest in yourself. Experiment with meditation and yoga or exercise more generally. Moving your body also moves your mind. As you strengthen your bones and your muscles and everything else, you can strengthen your heart and your brain. Invest in yourself. Get rest and relaxation and sleep. Invest in yourself by perhaps listening to music you enjoy and maybe learning how to play some music. Invest in yourself by appreciating art and perhaps making art. And before you say, I'm not a good artist, you don't have to be a good artist for other people to practice your art. Invest in yourself by being compassionate. And as compassionate people, we care so much about others. And that's great, it's important. But you're an other too. As you care about other people in the world, recognize that you are in the world and be compassionate towards yourself. Practice that kind of self-care. Be Instead of being your inner critic and cop, be your inner coach and cheerleader. And if you can develop love for yourself, that's investing in yourself. Love yourself so that you're more capable of loving others. And when we invest in ourselves, we can bring our best selves to the world. When we can transform our knowledge, skills, and abilities, some of which we've learned in college and some of which we've learned along the way, and transform it into wisdom by helping other people. We help other people and we help ourselves. When you invest in yourself, you invest in your community. When you invest in your community, you're also investing in yourselves. That's how we make better selves and a better world. Class of 2020, go forth.